Number eight, two more tools for knowledge check activities. When teaching online, it's far more difficult to spot the social cues of misunderstanding. Synchronous sessions, students may have their webcams, uh, microphones switched off. Um, you will find it harder to spot those cues um, that you will normally have when uh, teaching face to face. Um, so it's very important that when students are um, working at their own pace at the start of the week, uh, watching your recorded lectures, that you give them um, a, a quiz of some description um, to check their knowledge. Uh, and there are a number of ways you can do that. The H5P activity we just um, looked at um, has lots of quiz type questions within it that you can use to test students' knowledge. Um, but if you want to do uh, basic um, knowledge checking, so multiple choice questions, short answers, th those type of questions, Google Forms offers a really good interface for, for doing those, those quick knowledge checks. If you want to do something a, a bit more in depth um, with mathematical or more, more complicated question types, then the Moodle quiz has uh, a massive variety of questions. We'll, we'll have a brief look at those now, um, but we've also delivered a session on this during the Telltales Festival, which is linked in the supporting um, resources um, for this session. Um, below. So please, if you're very interested in this, uh, please have a look at that session. So first of all, let's have a look at uh, Google Forms. When you go into Google Forms, just press the blank quiz option and you will see that a, a normal um, Google Forms layout with a few more options. So select your, your type of question. So I'll, I'll do a quick multiple choice. I'll specify what my um, answer options are and what the question is and then using the answer key I'll just indicate which one is right and which ones are wrong. It's as simple as that. It takes literally minutes to do um, a Google Forms quiz. As I say basic um, question types are available. Um, if you want something more um, more in depth um, then the Moodle quiz is what you want. Um, we've been using this at the university for the last eight years. This has been delivered um, as summative online exams uh, across technology and science. Um, and you can create some really complex uh, questions to test students' knowledge. Uh, things like um, the formulas, formulas question type. You can create matching questions, drag and drop, um, all sorts of different um, um, options. You, you do have some more simple options like the true and false questions and the multiple choice but if you really want to push your students especially if you're coming from a mathematically based uh, discipline then the Moodle quiz can really help you out to create those knowledge checks. As I say we've got a whole session on this so please have a look at the links in the supporting materials section.